We tip things off by shining the spotlight on Chandler Parsons, a rocket looking to climb to new heights in his third season. Yo, yo. This is a story about Ill's life and his struggles. Jamie, step back. He'll shoot this time. And he's got another one! Why not? Why not? In the 2011 draft, 37 players taken before Chandler Parsons. I feel like I've been an underdog my whole life. Uh, always been kind of an afterthought. Never really got all the accolades growing up. With the 38th pick in the 2011 NBA draft, the Houston Rockets select Chandler Parsons from the University of Florida. I feel like I should have went a lot higher, so every single night when that ball jumped up on my rookie year, I was proving something to every single coach and every single GM in this league. And uh, I play and work hard with, with the chip on my shoulder and try and prove something every single day. Those uh, guys, second round pick, but uh, in truth, if he were in this draft, he'd be the first player picked, or at least he should be, because he's way better than anybody in it. Parsons showed flashes as a rookie, but in his second season, his competitive nature would surface, often in dramatic fashion. It's been unbelievable. It really has been a dream come true. I love basketball, I love competing, and I love winning. So I, I feel like people may look at me in a different light, but they got to respect me on the court. Five seconds left. Lakers still have a foul to give. Parsons for three. It's gone! And we're going to overtime! Chandler Parsons! It was such a big game. It was the last game of the season. And at Staples Center is always a fun place to play and kind of a broken play where the ball kind of got bounced around and kicked to me. Uh, that was just one of those shots where I just kind of threw it up there trying to beat the clock and just was fortunate enough to let it go down and something you don't really practice too much. You know, you just shoot the ball with confidence. We're going to work our defensive segments. We got to get better. All right, fellas, everybody ready to go? Let's do it, baby. Let's have a good one, guys. Come on, let's go. Come on, someone's got a rebound that thing. Let's go, run, let's go. Get down, get down. Coach McHale is great. He, you have a whole other level of respect for a coach who's actually played, and especially played at his level, being a top 50 player of all time with those championship teams on the Celtics. So when he talks in practice, we, he, we listen. Hey, that's a turnover. That's a stop. Let's go, Black. You score, you win. Score, you win. And then off the court, he's such a genuine, sweet dude that just wants the best for you and will always push you to get better on and off the court. What did I tell you we're going to be this year? We're going to be a good team. What do good teams do? Play close games, and they got to win close games, all right? So we got to win these games. So everybody, everybody lock in at the end here, okay, guys? All right, guys, good job today. Good job. It's your family. With the acquisitions of James Harden and Dwight Howard, Chandler Parsons is aware that the local fans are expecting the Rockets to soar. Parsons, he has absolutely done it all here tonight. He has been the best player on the floor. The energy in Houston is unbelievable right now. The, the excitement around the city, uh, adding Dwight. There's Parsons with a big step. Oh, the alley to Dwight Howard. Superman taking it in from the sky. Just with the run that we made last year, how exciting our offense is, it's definitely going to be an exciting year, and I look forward to it.